Hey Comic Impact, Ken here, just got back from Wizard World Anaheim where I got myself a bunch of toys. Look at these, they're so cool. I got Marvel Universe figures. I got Warpath, I got Captain Britain. I got Multiple Man, I haven't taken out of the box. And I got a Kitty Pride. haven't taken her out of the box yet either. I'm gonna, because toys should be out of the box, like these two. Warpath, Captain Britain, toys. So yeah. I'm here to tell you about the new this week for May 11th, 2011. We got a bunch of good books coming out this week. For starters, we got Hellboy, Being Human. It's a one-shot starring Hellboy and Roger the Homunculus. You know it's going to be awesome? I miss Roger. I wish they'd bring him back into BPRD. Are you reading that book? That book's awesome. It's so good. Love it. Thank you, Dark Horse. Thank you, Mike Mignola and everybody else who's working on the book. Stuff's fucking awesome. What else we got? From Image Comics, we got Chu number 27. That's right, they went from 18, now they're at 27. It's Chu, they can do that. Whatever, that's how cool the book is. I can't wait to take my multiple man out of the package. Chu, such a crazy book. Also from Image Comics, we have Elephant Men number 31. I just started reading this book and I've instantly fallen in love. I've read the first couple of trades. You should go out and buy them. They're so cool. It's so much fun. I thought it was going to be lame. I see Elephant Men on the shelf. I'm like, Elephant Men? What? And then, you know, after months of Simon telling me I should read it, I finally read it, and I was so happy. It's such a good book. Very underrated. Go check it out. Highly recommend it. I'm also looking forward to Astonishing X-Men number 37, written by Daniel Way. It's the X-Men, they're in Japan, they're fighting monsters, like Godzilla-type shit. It's fucking cool. If you're not reading it, you should. It's awesome. We also got Punisher Max number 13. That's right, the Punisher's been captured, he's in prison after fighting Bullseye and nearly being killed. He's half dead at this point, trying to survive in prison. It's an awesome story. As always, Jason Aaron's kicking ass. Lastly, we have X-Men Legacy number 248. It's the aftermath of that crazy storyline, Age of X. What's going on? I don't know, how are the X-Men going to continue? Professor X is on the cover, Gambit's on the cover, Rogue's on the cover. I'm happy. I love those characters. We haven't seen enough of Professor X in recent X-Men years. It's, you know, he's the guy. He's the fucking guy. And he hasn't been around. It's a shame. So yeah, those are the books for May 11th, 2011. It's a lot of 11s. 1, 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1, 1. 1, 1. Anyway, I'm going to open my multiple man now. I like to play with my toys. I mean, why am I spending, you know, 8, 10 bucks on these things? If I'm not going to play with them, you know? Fuck. His leg just broke off. Maybe I shouldn't have taken it out of the box. Oh well. See you next time. Go get some comics.